proudly we hail... City where the American stage begins, here's another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station for your Air Force to bring you this story. As proudly we hail the United States Air Force. Our presentation is entitled... Dawn has eyes. The eyes referred to are those of the Strategic Air Command, and they are provided by the officers and men of the various strategic reconnaissance wings scattered throughout the country. Their concern would be during wartime to bring back data concerning targets, defense terrain, and an enemy nation's capacity to wage war against the United States. One such crew of a giant RB-36 figures in our story. And our first act curtain will rise right after I ask this question. Are you a service veteran? Well, if you are, then listen real carefully because this message is just for you. You know, you may be qualified to enlist in the United States Air Force in a gray that'll be a real pleasant surprise. If you possess one of the critical skills needed to keep America's air defense strong, then the Air Force offers you an opportunity to put those skills to work to your best advantage and at a higher grade and with higher pay than you may realize. Right now, the Air Force needs experience and know-how gained in all the armed forces. And now, thanks to the new Career Incentive Act of 1955, you can put your service gain skills to work to your best advantage by returning to the armed services as a member of the Air Force team. You write or visit your Air Force recruiter for the special prior serviceman's folder. It'll give you full details on the advantages of returning to the service as an airman. You'll see why today and tomorrow... You're better off in the United States Air Force. And now your United States Air Force presents the proudly we hail production, Dawn Has Eyes. Oh. Hey, no 200 already. Al? Hey, Al. Come on, Al. Come on, get up. Come on, it's time to go, boy. I never saw a guy so sleepy as you in the morning. This is morning? It sure is. And if you don't hit the floor by the time I count three, I'm going to roll you out. Oh, my friend. One. Two. Al. Oh, hey, what, what's up? What's That's up? What's the up? boy. What's up? Is it, is it time already? Yeah, boy. Gee, it seems as though I just got to sleep. Oh, it's time already. <laughs> You've been knocking him off since right after chow last night. Gee, so I have. Hey! Hey! Hey, this is it! This is it! This is the day! Okay, okay. It's the day, all right. And if we don't get over the mess hall in a quick hurry, we're not going to get anything to eat before the break. Well, what's is... keeping us? Come on! You next, Serge. I'll make them over easy, will you? Now, how about you? I'll have scrambled. Great. Pretty good food here at Fat John. Are you guys here for those aerial photographers? Yep, yep, yep. And today's the big day. Mm-hmm. So I hear. Well, good luck. Me, I like my job. That takes all kinds, you know. It sure does. But thanks for the good wishes, fella. Except I don't think we'll need them. Confidentially, we are the best, you know. Uh, but luck never hurts. <laughs> That's what they all say. Where are you guys from? Uh, we're from the 28th Strat Recon Wing, Ellsworth. Oh, South Dakota, huh? That's right. I got a buddy up there. He says he likes it. Oh, that's a good assignment. Well, here's your eggs. Thanks. Good luck again. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, fella. Hey, get your bacon and sausage and ham at the next table down the line. Right. Hey, excuse me. 
Oh, it's over here, I guess. Huh? Yeah. You know, all I can say is they're feeding us up real fine. Well, what do you have, fellas? Uh, bacon for me. Right. How about you? I have some sausage. I'll give us about another couple, huh? We've got a long day ahead. Okay, Sarge. You've got them. Thank you. All uh, right, look out. Here, here. Oh, here, right over here is it. Well, we've got to hurry. We don't want to be late. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh boy. Looks good. Mmm. This bacon tastes real good, huh? Yes. Hey, uh, um, where do you hear from her? Sally? Yeah. <laughs> She's sure cute, you know, from the pictures you showed me. Well... I have a little leave coming when this is over. Uh-huh. I'm going to take a little trip down to Frisco to see you. No kidding. You were down there on your last leave. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I thought you were the type to play the field. Man, I think this time you have had it. Now, well, maybe. Yeah, she's got the hooks in here. Mm, well. Next thing you'll be getting married. Could be. Give me some salt. Could be. Give me some salt. No kidding. Is it's that bad? Mm, not Guess it is. Wow, give us the old hand there, boy. Congratulations. Well, you better wait and see if she says yes first. Ah, knock it off. That's a cinch. Hey, you know, you know you've got good taste. Those, those pictures you took, you you didn't uh, you didn't touch them up any, huh? What do you mean, touch them up? That's just how she looks. Oh, she's terrific. Pretty nice looking, isn't she? She sure is. Ah, uh, how do you think she'll like the Air Force? Well, I don't know. I don't see how she could not like it. I get good pay. You know, I figure as soon as she says the word, I can rig it up to get on a list for quarters over at the Worry Project. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, they've got some pretty nice quarters, all right, back at the base. Now, that place Lou Hartwick has. Free bedroom. That's some deal. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. Well, anyway, like I say, don't start congratulating me yet. But I'm sure going to ask you. It's in the bag, boy. It's in the bag. Yeah. Hey, you know, Al... You ought to start thinking about settling down, too. Oh, sure. First, though, I've got to find the girl. Well, you shouldn't have any trouble about that. What about that one that came up from San Diego with your folks to visit you last month? Oh, she's just a girl next door. <laughs> I should have a living next door to me. Now well, that you mention it. Yeah. Well, sure. What's the matter with her? <laughs> no, it's funny. I, 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 I just never thought about Helen that way. See, you know, you know, I think maybe my next leave home... Sure, you, you can't do better than that. Well, I'll think about it anyhow. Ah, I don't know, maybe I'm just a bachelor at heart. Sure, sure, I thought so too, until Sally came along. Come on, finish that bacon, yeah, we yeah. gotta get out of here. Go 6.30. Okay, 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 I'm ready. I can still hardly believe it. What? Well, you know. The idea of us getting chosen out of all the crews in the outfit to represent the 28th here at the reconnaissance meet? Well, Colonel Morrison explained that to us before we left, how how, how we were lucky to beat out the others in our own wing. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, that competition includes teams from the whole Air Force, no matter where they are. And I can tell you, we would be lucky to beat out the others in our own wing. You know, I mean, we would really be doing something if we did something like that. I know. That's just why I can't believe it. You know, I got a crazy feeling, Al, that the battling bat is going to be in the money. I sure hope so. Hey, Al. Ah. Hold it. Just a minute. I want to get a picture. Picture? We don't have time for that. We're almost late already. I know. Come on. Only take a minute. Look, the dawn's breaking over there. Look at it. It's beautiful. Come here. Stand over here. Right here. Sort of... Up against the street. Oh, gee. Come on. Oh, gee. Oh, you hurry it up, gee. it'll be over in a minute. Right here. That's okay, it. okay, okay. But I'm telling you, I never had my picture taken so much in my life till I met you. But you're just pretty, that's all. Pretty, pretty, pretty handy, you mean. Listen, do you, do you ever go anywhere without that, uh, that camera? I went to hold it. Just like that. Oh, that was a good one. Now, let me take a cover shot. Cover shot? Come on, I'm not going to be late. All right, all right. No, 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 no. No, I guess not. Not what? You couldn't get pride loose from that shutter. Look, Al, you never know when you might see something that would really be good. You know that guy that had his movie camera with him made $5,000 just because he happened to be there? 
When the Hindenburg, Hindenburg crashed? Hindenburg crashed. The Hindenburg crashed. Well, he did. Sure, pal, sure. <laughs> Air Force as the host organization for the big event. Now, you've had your weather briefing, so the World Series of Reconnaissance is about to begin. Today, you'll be competing for the pennant, so to speak. Each team from the different reconnaissance wings in the country will be fighting against each other team. And the reconnaissance you bring back today will be the payoff in this annual game. Needless to say, this will be a further step in the training program which continues to make our Air Force the best in the world. And regardless of the outcome, it's understood that you officers and men here, representing your organizations, are already taken for granted as being tops. So as the first pitch is thrown, I want to wish the best of luck to all contestants. Thank you. <laughs> Well, here we go. Yeah. Go, face. Nah. You know, it's really up to us. We got ourselves picked to represent the 28th. And I'd hate to let them down. Us and the crew of Polly's Pride. And remember, we got to beat them, too. Well, we will. Hey, hurry it up, fellas. We got a plane to catch. Okay, okay. Well... If it has to be one of us, I hope it's the battling bat. <laughs> you and that rake. Hey, you'll probably forget to pull the trigger. What do you mean? You don't even have any film in your camera. <laughs> you guys don't have a chance. You'll probably get lost and never find L.A. Say, say, speaking of, of getting lost, the last time I saw you was on leaving New York, and you wound up in Jackson Heights trying to get to Brooklyn. <laughs> I wasn't lost. I was taking evasive action. <laughs> Colonel Padgett. Yes, Morrison. Will you check your watch with mine, please? All right. 38 plus 10 seconds. No. Check. This is the aircraft commander speaking. AC to crew. AC to crew. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on a second. The colonel is talking. Let's let's, let's... Yeah, right. Yeah. Just a last minute word. You all know most of the rules, but I'll tell you once more so we can all work together. I've just checked my watch with Colonel Padgett, the umpire, who is riding with us today. And we're about to take off. You all know we want to win this event, if only to prove to the guys in the outfit that they picked the right team to come out here to represent them. Now, everything counts, even down to our takeoff time. We must make our takeoff within the split second we are allowed, or we will be disqualified before we leave the ground. Okay. Everyone on the ball. Fairchild Tower, this is Air Force 22867. Are we cleared for takeoff? Air Force 22867, this is Fairchild Tower. Cleared for takeoff, northwest winds at 10 knots, latest altimeter setting 3002. Roger. Colonel Padgett. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Wheels up. Check. Right on a button. For listening to the proudly we hail production, Dawn Has Eyes. And our second act curtain will rise in just one moment. When you make an investment, you want it to pay off, right? Well, men, how about those years you invested in the armed forces, learning skills, gaining experience valuable to yourself and your country? You can make those years pay off in huge dividends today by returning to the armed forces as a member of the United States Air Force. Yes, if you've been in any of the armed services then you may be eligible to enlist in the United States Air Force 
in a grade that'll be a real pleasant surprise. You see, right now, the Air Force needs men skilled in certain important fields. And you may be just such a man. If so, the Air Force offers you an opportunity to put your previous service experience to work to your best advantage and to collect on those credits you've earned toward a well-paying retirement. Your Air Force recruiter has a free folder that will give you full details. So you write or visit him now. Ask for the prior serviceman's folder. Now remember, that's called the prior serviceman's folder. Today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force. And now your United States Air Force presents the second act of the proudly hailed production, Dawn Has Eyes. Uh, 06.58. Oh, that's what I got. I thought my watch was stopped. Well, how come? I'm getting hungry already. Uh, heck, we just ate breakfast. Oh, I know. And, and you had a double helping of sausage. Well, just the same. I think I'm going to have a sandwich. Boy, I'm telling you, they're going to start calling you Porky if you don't watch out. Hey, this is good ham. Well, I can't stand to see you eat alone. You might as well hand me one while you're at it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what time are we due over at the Target? Oh, we got a while yet. You ever been to Phoenix? No. Except like this, from 30,000 feet. Yeah, me too. They say it's a nice town. Of course, I, uh... <laughs> guess you aren't interested in anything but San Francisco. Well, I guess not. Oh, gee, I sure hope we make a good showing today. Don't worry about that. All you have to do is keep your eagle eye on that screen. You've seen the pattern enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, about a thousand times. I just hope you've got the right comparison picture. Well, I'll never have to look at it. I've got it memorized. This is the AC to crew. Everything all right back there? Right, yeah. Right, sir. Yeah. All right, good. We're right on schedule. So far, so good. That's all. Now, everyone take it easy. I'll give you the 100-mile check as we start approaching the target area. Yes, right, sir. Yeah. Right. <laughs> This is the AC to the crew. We are 100 miles from target. Make your preparation. Well, this is it. I better get back to the cameras, Al. Okay, just make sure they're loaded. And get your mind off that gal in San Francisco. She might even say no. Well, that doesn't worry me a bit. Pretty. Well, you'll see. This one's a breeze. There's nothing else around here that's even close to the pattern. It's, it's, it's the next one that I'm worried about. Los Angeles, you mean? Yeah, that's one that'll really count. Yeah. Funny to think. All those people down there, and they don't even know Phoenix has been bombed, and we're flying over to get the results. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, another thing that always gets me is this big RB-36. All of us in it. And down there someplace, a guy in front of a radar screen's watching us, and all we are to him is a little blip on that screen. Yeah. See, I gotta get air. <laughs> miles from target. Twenty-five miles. She's on the radar now, Colonel. Okay, photo. Go and get him.
This is the AC. The next and final target is San Francisco. Now, this is going to be the tricky one, so as we proceed, I want you all to reflect very carefully on everything you were told. Right, sir. Hey, Al. San Francisco. Yeah. This is my lucky city. Listen, if we win this thing, I'll go down there myself and tell her to say yes, if she doesn't do it on her own. Well, thanks just the same, pal. I think I'll speak for myself. I wonder how the other crew from the 28th is doing. Get you some soup or anything, Harry? No, no soup, thanks. Coffee, maybe. Right. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Five miles. Roger. 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 Come on now, Sally. Make it a pretty picture. AC to photo. You say something, Drake? Is something wrong? Oh, no, no, sir. Nothing at all, sir. Everything's fine. Just fine. Right. <laughs> Okay, photo. That's it. Roger. Navigator, this is the AC. I'll take over now. Roger. AC to crew. Just a final word now before we get in. And no matter what the outcome, everyone did a grand job, and my personal congratulations. Of course, we're all hoping for the winning combination, but whether or not we get it, we've given some crew a tough mission to beat. That's all. Thank Thanks. you, all right, Colonel. We've been taken over by gremlins. The minute the wheel stopped, I never saw so many people in my life. Yeah, those umpires really jumped aboard. They had everything sealed up before we stopped moving, practically. And those tape recordings. You know, after all, it seemed like just another mission. I almost forgot about them. Well, they're sure going to know a guy named Carl has a girl in San Francisco. Yeah. How about your log? Think everything's in order? Oh, sure, it's got to be. Listen, we're a cinch. Well, here's the debriefing room. Come on. Let's get this over with. You know, Al, excited as I am to know about it, it won't be until tomorrow, and I could use some shut-eye butt bad. Yeah, me too. I hope this doesn't take too long. <laughs> Glad it's over, Sergeant? Sure am, sir. I think we did okay. At least I don't think the 28th is going to be disappointed that we were among the crews picked to represent them. Well, I sure hope not, sir. But I, I guess there's nothing to be done now until tomorrow when they announce the results. <laughs> Except wonder about it. I'll tell you the truth, sir. I'm, I'm just too tired to even do that. <laughs> you go along, then. I wouldn't want to keep you from the sack. Thanks, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. to the point which I know you're all eagerly awaiting. The announcement of the winner of the competition. The final game is completed and the results have been processed and judged. I wish to take this opportunity to thank those who work so hard here in doing this processing in order that it could be ready for today. We should get to the point. The suspense is killing me. I think he's doing it on purpose just to get us on the edge of our seats. And now, what you're all waiting for. The final and winning pitch was made by the 28th Strategic Reconnaissance Wing of Ellsworth AFB, South Dakota. And the aircraft commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Ty Morrison. With the members of this crew, 
I proudly present the prize P.T. Cullen Trophy for crewmanship. And I'm sure they're even prouder yet, for it takes the best to beat the best. Yeah. Oh, no. We made it. What did I tell you? It was Sally that did it. A shake. Oh, I'm on a budget already, old man. Oh, pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? I wouldn't you be if you were me. I guess so. If your luck keeps up, why, there'll be no stopping you. No, sir. You know, Al, it was a lot of luck, along with everything else. Yeah, 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 you're right. They were all good teams. But you know, split seconds are hard to hit. That's right. We got a wonderful crew. I hope we can come right back next year to defend the trophy. Even if we don't win it, it won't make us any less good. That's right. Gee, it's 8 o'clock. I gotta get going. Hey, yes, I didn't know it was that late. After all that split-second timing yesterday, I couldn't afford to miss my train to Frisco. Uh, Sally meeting you? Yes, sir. Said she'd be there in person to congratulate me when I talked to her on the phone. Well, don't forget now. If she says no, I'll come down and ask her myself. Uh, for you, of course. No, thanks. <laughs> I'll manage. I'm not worried. Okay. Well, so long, Shutterplug. So long. See you back at the base in about 10 days. Right. Uh, uh, Carl. Hey, Carl. Yeah, what? Wow, just the usual. You know, don't forget to bring back some pictures. Here's important news for all ex-servicemen. You may be qualified to enlist in the United States Air Force at a higher grade and at higher pay than you realize. Yes, the United States Air Force has a prior service program that offers big benefits to veterans of all services. The Air Force needs men who are experienced in a critical skill required to keep America's air defense strong. If you have training in these skills, then the Air Force wants you, and they'll make it worth your while. So for full details, you write or visit your nearest Air Force recruiter right away. Ask him for the free folder for prior servicemen. This folder will show you how you can put your service gain skills to work to your best advantage. Remember, you've earned credits toward a fine retirement in the service. So protect your initial investment today. Return to the armed forces as an airman. Today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this radio station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center in New York for the United States Air Force, and this is Dick Herbert speaking, inviting you to tune in the same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail. <laughs>